All right. Minnesota State post-game press conference with Matt Morgan Thaler uh, after the Mavericks defeated uh, Augustana on, on Saturday afternoon. Uh, we'll begin with a brief statement from uh, Coach Morgan Thaler, then we'll open it up to questions. Well, it, it, a big, big sweep for our program. I, I think this is, uh, I told our guys before the game, it could be a statement game for us. Um, we, we grew up, it, it was it was a grind and we knew it would be. It was, it was, I thought it really looked like two tired teams out there tonight. It was obviously a, a slow start for us. Um, even at halftime, when you look at it, when Rylan um, played three minutes and, and Quincy hadn't scored, Rylan hadn't scored, and you're and you're up but the way you played, um, you feel pretty fortunate at that at that situation. And I thought uh, second half we did a good job of guarding. You know, we we just we turned the ball over too much tonight, and, and we offensively uh, re, uh, uh, defensively rebounded. We we gave up way too many offensive boards, and and uh, they were a very physical team. And we got to clean those things up, but it was it was a uh, a big win for us. Uh, we need to learn from this one and, and get back to work on Monday because we're not even playing um, the way we're capable of playing right now, which, which is a very positive thing for us and, and, our, and our staff. Coach, in such a short season, how big is a 2-0 and record in the division to start off the season? It's, 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 it's big time, um, you know, and, and especially at home here to, to get uh, two wins versus <clears throat> the uh, preseason number one team in the league. And uh, I think that for us now, uh, moving forward, um, you know, and, and trying to get ourselves, because obviously you're always trying to position yourself to get that postseason tournament and be the top four, one of the top four teams. And um, I think this is a group that can do that, but it's, it's still a long way. We, we need to worry about Wayne State now and enjoy this tonight and, and get back, uh, get back tomorrow. I, I thought our athleticism and our quickness really hurt them, though. I think that was, a, it was something tonight that, that really was a, a positive on, on our standpoint. How much has Brady Williams grown uh, this weekend? He said he had uh, Brady, Brady had an unbelievable game. I mean, you know, when you have a young man, uh, a freshman, a true freshman played in his fourth game and being able to step up and what do you go five for seven from three? Um, he battles down on the post. He's athletic. Um, he, he's going to have a great future here. We knew he would. Uh, didn't know how early on he would uh, come into his own. But, you know, he, he's a very mature young man and, and, um, and is just in all facets, I mean, he does a, does a he's a 4.0 student, and he's one hell of a, of a freshman basketball player. Does it feel like you're starting to get uh, some of that home court advantage back, going uh, taking three out of four of the first home games this season? Yeah, I didn't know we lost it, but yeah, I guess yeah, I, I guess the crowd was great tonight, Nick. It was awesome. <laughs> it was just it was epic. <laughs> so and. Um, Talk about uh, Devontae's uh, performance. He had a pre he uh, had a pretty good first half, and then was hitting pretty much all those free throws late in the game. Well, all of our guys really were hitting their free throws late in the game. They were, and I think that, that was that was a key for us. You know, obviously we didn't uh, late game situations. We didn't execute exactly what we wanted to. They made some. You know, again, that's that's for us giving up some threes and, and offensive boards late in that game. Um, but Devontae had a great weekend. I mean, he he's a young man that. Uh, controls the ball I thought he had he had a, a you know his best weekend obviously putting back-to-back -back games together but you feel as, as a coach you feel pretty comfortable when he has his hands on the ball you think good things going to happen and and you know he is a great free throw shooter so again yeah, yeah, you get all those things together but I think for the us this is a great team win you know I, I look at I thought our bench did a great job all weekend of stepping up and helping us and and, uh, and that's what we're gonna need to have because when you play these back-to-back -back games um at six and two and against the same opponent I mean you again I, I thought last night's game was was a really well played game. Uh, two really good teams battling each other, and tonight you could just see that that both teams are a little bit tired. Uh, and you mentioned the bench uh, stepping up in a big way. How about uh, Jamal Nixon have coming in basically right away in the first couple minutes after Ryland got into foul trouble there, and he uh, uh, and, and Jamal yeah, that's what Jamal does, and he. You know, he, he played an extremely big role for us this year, being a senior. Um, you know, and again, you know, more so than on the offensive. Defensively, he does a good job. He, he rebounds for us. He had a big put back there in the in the, uh, in the half for us. And so, um, I, I just think that that was our bench was important all weekend long, and, and it's uh, it's, it's going to move forward. It's going to have to be too. Any more questions, anyone? All right, thanks, Coach. Hey, Chad, did uh, did Brady call you? Okay, I'll have him call you for sure.